musician and a recorder consort, and uh, not all of us are professional musicians. We're all amateurs, and we come from various backgrounds and disciplines in our professions, education and insurance, computers, medicine, and education. Um, just a brief word about the instruments we're playing. Um, the, the recorder is essentially what's called a fipple flute. And what distinguishes a recorder from other flutes, in addition to not being blown across the side, is that the head joint is a cylinder, but then the body is a tapering cone. If you look, you can see that this end is wider than this end. And people in the Renaissance and the Baroque era uh, used that to bring the, the tone holes closer together, for one thing, made it easier to play. Now we have various sizes here, starting from We'll start at the top. Now this is what we have been calling the bling recorder, but this is the soprano. And uh, there's some other sopranos here if you hold up your soprano. Um, and then the next slide is the alto recorder, and then the tenor, and then the bass. And then we have some special large instruments. We have Michael here is showing off the, the contrabass recorder. This plays essentially in the range of uh, a bass male voice. And then the great bass recorder is about in the range of a, t of a tenor voice. In addition, we have the viola de gamba, played by Karen Arnett, which is a cousin to instruments like the violin and the cello. But unlike those instruments, this is fretted like a guitar. And this particular one has seven strings. There are some that have just six. And finally, we have the harpsichord back here, uh, which is a plucked string keyboard instrument. So instead of being like the piano, where the strings are struck with a hammer, there is what's called the plectrum. In the old days, it was made out of a piece of, uh, of uh, feather quill. And that goes up and plucks this string. Um, anyhow, uh, those are the instruments. Please enjoy the Lady Oriana.